Have you ever heard of the term salary man? Now, if you live in a society that is covered with massive infrastructures, chances are you've come across the salary man. Basically, the salary man or men are your typical white collar employees grinding their way every day to get paid and bring food on the table. The term is coined from Japanese culture where massive amounts of employees with a coat and tie are seen that fits the term riding buses and trains just to get to work. These are the people who literally wake up, freshen up, go through an 8 to 9 hour shift, overtime in some cases, and is seen drinking during the after hours and back to work the next day like clockwork, and are usually deprived of sleep. So in the modern day and age, it is just treated as a term for pretty much anyone who's working a white collar job, and is often seen in a corporate outfit with a laptop. So over the course of time, I've always been curious as to what type of laptop these people actually use. Because as minimalist as they look, apparently unlike the consumer type of laptop, these don't get replaced till 5 to 10 years later. Which got me really curious as to what these laptops actually are. Now I personally use a MacBook for work, which we all know lasts at least a solid 5 to 6 years tops. But the salary men or men and women are often seen with this black compact laptop for a much longer period. So here we have the Lenovo T14 ThinkPad. This is actually a standard issue laptop for corporate offices in 2020 to 2021 and prior. The reason why I say prior is that even with past years, the ThinkPad has been the staple for corporate office laptops that doesn't exactly change in terms of design and it's mostly internals that makes one different over the other. And although I can't exactly power this on for security reasons, I can simply give you guys a tour on what this actually it looks and feels like so without further delay let's do this all right so first and foremost is the finish it comes with this matte type finished texture it is very nice to the touch but can show signs of use with fingerprints and smudges but it's very easy to clean with the use of a microfiber cloth the t14 comes with chamfered edges giving it a business premium look towards the sides and front Towards the left, we have a USB Type-C port for charging, a Type-C Thunderbolt 3, a network extension for Ethernet or side docks, a USB Type-A 3.1 Gen 1, an HDMI port, a headphone jack, and a micro SD card reader. Towards the right, we have a smart card reader, a USB Type-A 3.1 Gen 1, an RJ45, and a Kensington lock that is flanked with an exhaust to dish out heat from the machine. Towards the back is bare with just these hinges for the screen, and down at the bottom are additional exhaust vents to keep the machine cool for those long hours of work. Opening the lid, we're greeted with a standard 14-inch keyboard with a red nub in the center. This is kind of like the C-stick for the Nintendo 3DS. Think of it as a third mouse next to the trackpad if you don't have a dedicated mouse. One interesting take here is the keyboard. It actually feels like a Lenovo Legion keyboard, but it does have a bit of a soft-like traction on each press. The trackpad is a reasonable size, though I would have preferred something bigger, like what I've been used to on a MacBook. And this also comes with dedicated clickers, which is positioned above the trackpad as opposed to the usual that is at the bottom. For an added boost of security, the ThinkPad T14 does come with a fingerprint authentication, which is great, though during the initial setup, it did offer to provide an unlocking feature with the use of the webcam kind of like an iris scanner or a facial recognition. Now, one other interesting feature of the ThinkPad T14 is it does come with rapid charge technology with the inclusion of a 65 watt AC adapter in the box. Now, in terms of specifications, it really depends on the, the year this device is issued to that person. In this case, this packs in an Intel i5 10th gen processor with Windows 10 Pro. It also comes with an Intel UHD graphics chip, but for those who are issued this for creatives or would require the added graphics processing, would usually come with an NVIDIA GeForce graphics chip, which may vary depending on the year of issuing. And that's pretty much it for the Lenovo ThinkPad T14 laptop walkthrough. I personally would have wanted to go further in depth, but due to security reasons, I am not entirely allowed to do so. But hopefully, if you do see a salaryman holding this, appreciate them. They go through life hurdles every day to work and earn and provide for their families. A simple acknowledgement wouldn't hurt. And that's pretty much it for this short video. Let me know in the comments on what you thought about this type of content. Would very much appreciate it. Thanks again for watching. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more tech reviews and unboxing videos this is chris once again from crisis point and i'll catch you in the next